Hello, this is Simon Hyatt. I'm the contributing editor of Asian Banking and Finance magazine. Today we are here in the Singapore studios of ABF to celebrate the winners of the most prestigious banking awards in the Asia Pacific region, the Asian Banking and Finance Awards 2021. I am joined today by Lim Kian Chong, the head of retail banking at Baduri Bank. Baduri Bank has won two awards today, the Retail Bank of the Year Award for Brunei and the Marketing and Brand Initiative of the Year Award for Brunei. Kian Chong, thank you so much for being with us today and congratulations on winning these two awards. On behalf of Baduri Bank, I would like to thank our customers, partners, stakeholders for their loyalty and support over the last year in the face of the pandemic. It is because of your trust and support that we have been able to overcome the obstacles able uh, presented and win the Domestic Retail Bank of the Year Award for the ninth time. We are also proud to have been awarded the Marketing and Brand Initiative of the Year for the very first time, marking yet another milestone for Baiduri Bank. Thank you all and to the teams who were involved uh, in making this happen. Thank you. Hian Chong. Please tell us about Baduri Bank's notable achievements in the past year that helped you win Domestic Bank of the Year for Brunei and Marketing and Brand Initiative of the Year for Brunei. I think the first thing is that um, last year, we actually relocated to a new headquarter. It was a brand new building, which was equipped with uh, new features of, uh, such as, you know, we have a new front desk. We hired a, a number of people to greet and assist customers in walk-in and uh, we have a digital queuing system where customers can join a virtual queue by scanning a QR code, allowing them to track their queuing status during uh, directly from their mobile devices. For example, if you were if you took out a queue number, you could actually visit the, visit our cafe downstairs and wait for your number to be called. Um, the other notable achievement is the launch of our artificial intelligence uh, chatbot, uh, which is named named Emmy. Uh, so the chatbot, as you know, uh, learns, and we uh, equipped it with uh, all as much as we could for the start. And after that, we continue to train it, uh, make it smarter by monitoring the questions and you know filling in all the gaps that was uh, it was not able to handle. Uh, we improved and the uh, on that as well, and you know the customers were actually because of the pandemic. Basically, I think. Uh, were able to find out a lot more about our services. For the win on marketing and brand initiatives of the year, I believe it was uh, quite well. Actually, it contributes to a refresh branding campaign in September 2020. We launched our refresh brand following a year long of intensive research, uh, focus groups, and uh, things. So not just the brand itself, uh, we came up with a set of values for ourselves, which represents what we feel our customers require from us. Aside from you know, the Refresh logo, we also came up with a set of internal brand values. So basically, this is what uh, the bank itself uh, wants its staff to you know, behave, how it wants to behave, basically to... to uh, lift the brand and deliver our promise to the customers. How has the pandemic affected Brunei's domestic banking industry? And in what ways did you rise up to meet these challenges? Similar to other banks in the world, uh, the banking industry in Brunei uh, had to go through a series of changes. Um, we found ourselves in the, you know, uh, challenged uh, through the, you know, the lockdowns that which we initially had for the first part of the pandemic. We moved very quickly. We activated our business continuity plan. We had two teams set in different areas. We introduced work from home and uh, all sorts of uh, you know, uh, strategies were put into action for us to continue to deliver our service. Um, so, however, fortunately for Brunei, we uh, locked down very quickly and the government took a lot of steps to ensure that you know, the, the local transmission was minimized. What motivates you to achieve this level of excellence to which so many banks aspire? Basically, Ivory Bank 
is actually technically a very young bank. We are 26 and a bit years old. We have been working hard uh, to improve ourselves. Uh, we've made a lot of strategies and a lot of directions, as, uh, as we call it, to, to achieve what we aspire to be. Of course, uh, along the way, we've had experiences of uh, hiccups, but however, we've moved quickly and tried to you know, change those. But uh, I think because we are quite a new bank, we are aspiring to be you know, better uh, by you know, uh, focusing around our customers and working on our workforce to deliver you know, better services as we go along. Where do you see yourself in the next five to 10 years? Are there any plans that you would like to share with us? Yes, um, not plans as uh, in detail, but uh, we are aspiring uh, to be the most preferred financial institution in Brunei. I think, uh, like I said in the previous, previously, the key thing for us is to keep doing what we're doing, uh, start investing in systems, uh, changing our processes to center ourselves around our customers, and then inspiring our staff to do a much better job of delivering service. Um, we are encouraging all our staff to so-called lift the brand and you know, deliver the promises that we have set ourselves. How do you feel about taking home the Domestic Retail Bank of the Year Award for Brunei for the ninth time, as well as the Marketing and Brand Initiative of the Year Award for Brunei? Once again, on behalf of the bank, I would like to express our sincere appreciation and thank you to the team from Asian Banking and Finance for having Baiduri Bank for the ninth time in a row as the winner of the Domestic Retail Bank of the Year 2021. Um, especially this year, we are also extremely happy to note that we are taking home the Marketing and Brand Initiative of the Year Award for the first time. This marks our journey, further improving our services, further engaging our customers and moving on to achieve our aspirations for the next few years. Lim Kian Chong, yeah. Head of Retail Banking for Baduri Bank, thank you so much for joining us today and congratulations on these two awards once again. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.